Two mics right here on Talk Sport. Coming up in this hour, Mark Donaldson's going to join us from ESPN just as the big weigh-in gets underway. Mm-hmm. Mayweather McGregor, uh, it's all happening in Las Vegas. We're going to be talking about that, of course. It is the big money fight for the weekend. Uh, we're also going to be doing winners and losers yes. a little bit later on. And, of course, uh, we're going to hear Porky singing. Uh, he was on Clips of the Week from last week yes. uh, performing some horrendous Elvis yes, song, but you see, which you... I haven't yet heard, Well, you way. weren't here, so it's not in context. So I don't know why you think you're taking the mickey well, out of it, OK? I want, I want to hear it. Because oh, you want to hear it? Because Jacobs okay. chose it for okay. Clips of the Week. Okay. Okay, so fine. I'd like to hear it again. Fine. It's a tribute. Right. It's a tribute. We are also going to take a load more calls from Aston Villa fans we'll because there is something wrong with Aston Villa. And nobody knows quite what it is. 08717-22-33-44. You're listening to the two mics with me, Mike Graham, and Mike Parry on Talk Sport. Now, I've got a great tweet here well, from Gav. Well, do you mind if I just interrupt for a second? Well, please? let me just read you this go quick on, one, because it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a, a tweet about two little girls listening to the show. Oh, it's okay. from Gav, yeah. and he says, Can I please get a shout-out for my girls Naomi, uh, Miley and Gemma camping in Bournemouth? Uh, we love the two mics, and that's Gav from Chester. Oh, hang on, is that three little girls? I think so, yeah. Right, Naomi, Miley yeah. and Gemma. Yes. Where are they camping? In Bournemouth. In Bournemouth, OK. Your family seat. Yeah, and they come from Chester. Uh, apparently so. Oh, do we know how old they are? Uh, we don't. OK, well, can I just say, Naomi, Miley and Gemma, I hope you're having a great weekend. Bournemouth's a great town. Chester's a great town to live in, great city to live in. Yeah. So uh, you've got a good life, and enjoy it. Now, and uh, thanks to your dad for uh, telling us all about you. No problem at all. Right. Now, can I just say that uh, uh, we apparently appear to be being, uh, being broadcast live on Facebook yes. because what we're going to do yes. is every Friday yes. um, when we're doing this show at this yes. time from 10 to 1, yeah. uh, we're going to film a little bit of it we are. just to put it out on Facebook, we just are. to give people a little taste of I, what I, I, it yeah. looks like okay. in, the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the round. Okay, well, They'll be able to see you wearing another horrible shirt. No, They'll be able to see me very yeah. nicely tailored as no. ever. I'm tanned from my holiday in Greece. A bit, you are a bit tanned, yeah. yeah. Although I think it's all down to bladderation on the Uzo. Now listen, I've had a bit of stick this week because right. you came back from holiday. You brought me this bit of old tat, a so-called uh, what, did you, what did you call it? Like an ornament? Well, some people said an ass yeah. in a globe is probably a very a fitting yeah. tribute yeah. to you. Well, it was an ass in one of those like shaky things, turned upside down. All yeah, the stars it's like a snow machine. Looked to me like something from uh, you know uh, the three wise men approaching Jesus and all that kind of stuff. Could be. But There's anyway, no look, wise men, look, people said I was ungrateful yeah. and, uh, you were and you brought me a present, so I've got you a present. I mean, I see uh, you wrapped it nicely. Well, no, that's it's uh, no. This is just an appropriate uh, sort it's of a Sainsbury's bag. Well, uh, I want to give it to you, and I'll, uh-huh. I'll take. I'll open the. I'll open the bag up, and you can okay. take the present out. Okay. Right. Okay, it's not going to be something horrible. No, though. it's not. There you are. It's it's a bit of a bang. You want me to put my hand in there? Yes. yes. You sure? Yes. Hang on, I have to get away from the microphone. That's okay, don't worry. Is it just one thing? Yes, it's one thing. Okay, I've got my hand on it. Right, okay. I've got it here. Okay. Oh, what is that? It's a, it's a bone for Ziggy, your dog. A bone? Yes. Are you having a laugh? No. No. It's I It's like thought, got no. meat on it. Yeah, it has, yeah. It's a, disgusting. It's a, no, it's a bone for Ziggy. Where did you get that from? Well, I had a shoulder of lamb this week, you see, because I like gonna, to eat You well. think I'm going to take this off you? Yeah, of course you are, because you must it, be joking. it's I'm not having that. What are you doing? I do not want a doing? piece of meat given to me. What, I don't know where what it's are been. you doing? I don't know where it's been. I, t- I, I, I bought a shoulder of lamb no. from uh, a very Morrison. Small lamb. No, no, no. Pygmy, no, shoulder from, off. from from uh, from Morrison supermarket. Oh, yeah. I cooked it on Monday. Did you? And I ate it on Tuesday. Oh, no, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I left some for I'm Ziggy. Poison my dog. With and that. then I, then I thought, look, I tell you what, I yeah. won't eat the rest of this meat. I'll give it to you. Yeah. You can give it to Ziggy, your no. dog, the dog you abandoned no. when you went on holiday no, the again. The dog was not abandoned. Where did you put it? Yeah, he was actually looked after by his uncle oh. and then by his grandpa. Oh yeah, sure. In sure. his own house. You abandoned your dog no, as you always do. No. I thoughtfully. Look, I've literally taken oh, food off my plate and given it to Ziggy. I wouldn't give the food that you eat to my dog. You eat such terrible food. Uh, uh, that is a prying uh, shoulder of, yeah, well, uh, you eat it, of, of English lamb. Yeah, well, you eat it. No, I'm giving it to your dog. and no. That's very ungrateful. I'll tell you what, you no. know, you're... No, no. I'm not. I'm not. I've had it for you. You don't get any more presents now. No good. I'd like to hear from our audience, right? I mm. go. To, I mean, that's a real present. That is a real. You're going to some manky a, old meat. No, it's a juicy, I'll lovely show you. I'll take bone. I'll a picture of it and put it out there. Dogs love bones, right? No, actually, they're dangerous to be given bones. No. The best kind, the only bone you give a dog yeah. is an uncooked bone. Right. Because if you give a dog a cooked bone, mm. it is likely to shatter yeah. and puncture his windpipe. Yeah. Well, so actually, the dog no. could die no. as a result of being given rubbish. It back. Rubbish. Everybody you know, knows. You, everybody knows the one dog story about you. Yeah. Is that your dog 
bashed its head against the wall yeah. and committed suicide. That was hardly my fault. Well, it wasn't was my away fault. from you and your ghastly family. It wasn't my fault the dog had canine um, multiple sclerosis really? or something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, well, he was banging it out against yeah. the wall. It had, it had canine dementia. It's shocking. And for you to make a joke of it is outrageous. And also, I think you're so ungrateful. You're denying your dog a juicy bone. It's a very juicy no, bone. You don't give dogs cooked bones. It's dangerous. Uh, listen, everybody knows that when the family have had their Sunday roast and all that, and the bones left on the table, it goes to the dog. No, everybody does it not. It does. Do that. No, it does. You can't do That's that. That's standard behaviour. You can't do it. Anyway, I'm fed up with you trying to give me presents. You gave me some cold tea. You gave me a fake shirt. You gave me all sorts of rubbish over the years. No. Why don't you just not bother? No, well, just don't bother. I won't. You're so ungrateful. I'm not going to bother you. Let's talk to Josh, who's a full yeah. sensible yeah. person. Yeah. He's been at the do game uh, yeah. down in Ashton Gate with Aston Villa. Yeah. He's got something to say. Josh, a very good evening to you. Mm. Hi, Josh. Evening, yeah, very yeah, well. Very, very good indeed. Very well. How do you fancy an old lamb bone? I can send it on to you if you like. Exactly, yeah, well, exactly. You don't, you don't give a dog a cooked bone. It's bad news, I promise you. I said knick-knack, paddy wag, give a dog a bone. Yeah, right. Should we yeah. not talk about Aston Villa, Josh? What's yes. the problem? So if you can see if you can see that, Josh, what is it that uh, that Steve Bruce can't see? I think you're right, Josh. Dangerous, because it's, uh, it doesn't complement each other, well, does it?